Hi guys, this is Pastor Prophet Justin Roberts from End of the Age Bible Prophecy. I just want to share with you this PowerPoint presentation about the second coming of Jesus Christ. In the PowerPoint presentation, you're going to see illustration book slides, and you're also going to hear scripture in the form of sound clips. So please enjoy, and I hope you learn great revelations. Amen. This chapter is concerning the false prophet, which is the last Pope Francis. Revelation 13. Revelation 13. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Now the Pope that we're on now is actually the last Pope of Malachi's prophecy of Popes. And the description for this Pope is, it says he is Peter the Roman, hmm, who will pastor his sheep in many tribulations, which is the great tribulation that we'll be going into. And when these things are finished, like when the three and a half years is finished, the reign of the Antichrist is finished, the second passing of the throne happens after the two witnesses is finished. And it says the city of seven hills, which is Babylon, the great whore, Rome, which sits on seven hills. Rome, Vatican Rome will be destroyed, as it says in the Bible. So Malachi's prophecy is in line with the Bible. And then the dreadful judge, which is God, will judge his people, as in the great white throne judgment as such. The end. So this is the end um, of the world according to Malachi and this is the end of the popes according to Malachi's prophecy and he's bang on but why does he call him Peter the Roman when this guy's name is um, Francis such and such whatever his name is but Pope Francis is how he's known and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. So the, the false prophet is the third part of the evil trinity. These three world leaders which will bring in this new world order. Now the Antichrist, it says that the beast that infills him has two horns like a lamb. Um, but he speaks like a devil, like a dragon. And that spiritual being, we know him as Baphomet, which was cast into the abysses of the earth. But why Malachi called Francis Peter is just like the, the Antichrist is a clone of Jesus Christ. Uh, Satan incarnated is a clone of Pharaoh Akhenaten. And Pope Francis is actually the clone of Peter uh, the apostle whose remains were found in the Vatican just as you know Pope Francis was born in fact I think it was two years later so can they keep a secret for a couple of years of course they can and he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed and the false prophet will cause everyone to worship the first beast, the Antichrist, who is um, taking the place, if you like, of the Egyptian false god, uh, Horus, the one-eyed Horus. If you go to my William uh, presentation, you'll see more about that, how the Antichrist will be one-eyed. But this Pope um, doesn't even hide the fact of one, that he's part of the Jesuit secret society. He puts it on his coat of arms. On the coat of arms, you see the sun, because they are mainly sun worshippers, like the Egyptians were also sun worshippers and false god followers. You have this five-pointed star there of Satan, but you have IHS, and they stand for ISIS, which, no, it's not a terrorist group created by the government. No, ISIS is a false goddess who is actually the Virgin Mary counterfeit. And she gives birth as a virgin to Horus, who is the Jesus Christ counterfeit of the Egyptian mythology. Of course, this was all Satan writing his 
little plan out in the time of the Egyptians. But now, in our time, in fact, they called Lady De um, Princess Diana, they called her Isis in a fragrance they brought out. So, who is the firstborn? Obviously, William. So, Horus, the Antichrist, William, will be the one eyed Antichrist. And he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. And it says the false prophet will be able to do great wonders, like making fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men, and deceive the people which are on the earth by means of these miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the Antichrist in the sight of the antichrist that's interesting so it's a bit like let's just um, imagine it and the false prophets there and he's saying this is the christ this is the god he rose from the dead look this is the god and if he is the god make fire come down from heaven and fire will come down from heaven it says it will happen it's not a case of they'll try it says they will make he will make fire come down from heaven but there's options they could release space rocks from satellites and just automatically the space rocks burn up in the atmosphere like fire come down from heaven. Or there's another thing. Um, we've seen not too long ago what seemed like a meteorite fall to the earth and there was a massive explosion. But other angles and slow motion of it, you just see like a, a beam of light coming down from the heavens and if you look at the under siege 2 movie they seize control of this satellite which is, does the exact same thing it's able to um generate this massive energy beam of light like a laser beam but bigger and just zap the earth and they hit all these nuclear um, places and cause earthquakes and such like so i believe that they have the technology i reckon the satellites up there now which could bring a beam of fire or light, you know, down from heaven at will. So all they've got to do, like any good magic trick, is just um, plan it. Just plan that satellite number 006 was overhead at the, you know, Jerusalem or the Vatican at that certain time, and they'll set the meeting and then he'll do his spiel and it'll all be go. It's just like magic trick. Magic looks real, doesn't it? But it's it's not there's some sort of deception about it but like when the two witnesses are coming in and we'll be given the power of moses and the power that was given to elijah elijah it says will be able to it says um bring fire from their mouths to consume their enemies but what it actually means is that elijah spoke let fire come down from heaven and consume you and fire came down from heaven from god and consumed them and the 50 men but that was real miracles from god but just like in the days of egypt in fact these popes look like the magicians of egypt that they tried to counterfeit the the miracle so elijah will be burning the thing is elijah is going to do this for protection it says it's going to burn up his enemies who want to hurt him all right that these people will be bringing fire down from heaven to deceive people to worship them do you know what i mean they're doing it doing it for their own selfish problems elijah will be doing it for protection of himself saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Not only that, he sets up an image of the beast, uh, a, a three-dimensional image. Now, the, the commandments of God say not to make an engraven image or bow down, serve or worship it. Now, a picture of something or someone is not an image. It's two-dimensional. It's flat. But as soon as you become three-dimensional, it becomes engraven. Obviously, anything engraven becomes three-dimensional. So they're going to create a three-dimensional image that can speak, 
can speak. So this is not going to be some statues who are going to be able to talk. Look at technology and the way things are going. I believe that this will be a hologram that's put into every church. Yeah. And, you know, Prince William can stand in the temple on Sunday mornings and every church can hologram switch the hologram on and through fast internet connection that we have like now like everyone can go live on the internet everyone can go like joe blogs can go live on social media and everyone can see it in live stream like so it's going to be exactly like that the holograms will copy the movement of the antichrist will copy what he says and it will broadcast it all the way across the world in fact um, i remember a time where someone talking about heaven and they said that Jesus Christ actually is able to sit at everyone's table while they're having a meal. Now, that's that's amazing, because if you think about it, this is like what they are trying to deceive. They're trying to say that William can be in every church for worship. OK, so I believe that's what it is, a hologram. And if you look at the way technology is going, it looks to me like they're trying to make holograms come out of our phones now like you could watch it maybe you could watch it uh william doing his spiel on a sunday or whatever and it's like a hol they're trying to make like a hologram come out of your phone or another thing is when you put these um headsets on and see the thing in like a three-dimensional it's exactly the same thing so if you're looking at the image of the beast a three-dimensional recreation of the antichrist in real time and you bow down and worship that's just like you worshiping the image of the beast and it says anyone who wouldn't worship the hologram of the beast shall be killed now in the end it doesn't say how they killed but in the end of revelation though it says that the ones that were beheaded for jesus were brought back to life and they reigned with Christ a thousand years on the earth. So, but then it doesn't actually mention in Revelation anyone being beheaded. Um, so this killing of people that will not worship the image of the Antichrist could actually be by beheading. Now, I don't think they're actually going to have a guillotine at the back of the church and anyone who doesn't bow down will, well, who knows? It'll probably be in secret. Oh, we, we know you will drag you away, you arrest you, whatever, drag you off um, to some underground bunker and then <laughs> do away with you if you refuse. Something along them lines, I don't know. Then he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. And he causes everyone to receive an RFID chip in their right hand or in their forehead. Very specific. So this is not some tattoo on your hand, or it's not some vaccine in your arm, you know, this is a mark, an RFID chip that will go in your hand and it says buy and sell. So it's not just a case of stopping you buying. It's a case of stopping you selling all money transactions. And actually, it's pretty much phases complete, uh, to be honest with you. The, the RFID chips are already in your bank card. The card readers are already in the shops. Uh, they're even smashing out now these, um, I suppose you could call them like domestic card readers in which you can have at your home they're really cheap you know they just connect to your computer or whatever they do like small um, rfid contactless card readers and they're just pushing them out everywhere on tv and everything because they're getting ready for this system and when this system comes in you can have nothing tangible they'll get rid of cash they'll get rid of cash machines because there's no there's no point for them Everything will be done through RFID chip. You'll have nothing in your hands, no wealth. And if they want to take some money off you, um, you, you know, that you're not going to be able to stop them. They can just go into your bank account and delete the numbers. You know what I mean? So this is actually on the brink of it now. Like I said, the RFID chips, the cards, everything. Else. They're already chipping people. 
they're already putting microchips as you can see from this video the guy with the black latex hands is injecting them with the rfid chip and this is what they want they've they've actually planned this since 9 11. go watch a video on aaron russo and he said this was the whole this was the whole plan to get everyone microchipped and to have total control of the people over their money over their medical documents everything else but another thing right, right now is that the covid or certificate of vaccination id they're now bringing this rfid chip in as a, an electronic thing that you can have to show that you've had a vaccine they beep beep scan it and they'll be able to see whether you've had vaccines and everything else like that but the bible says if you take this mark of the beast you're just condemned and he causeth all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name now the antichrist himself has already received his rfid chip he's already received his mark of the beast the beast has when he was age 12. now that's no coincidence because the age of 12 when a person goes from being a child to an adult and you naturally mature your body matures you know what i'm talking about it's around 12 years old that is when you become accountable for your sins when your body matures and that's when you become accountable for your sin now prince william was um, rfid chipped as he became accountable for sin making him condemned it was almost like satan saying that you will never be <laughs> uncondemned do you know what i mean so yeah he already has his rfid chip in his right hand here is wisdom let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is six hundred three score and six and whoever has the number of the beast and it is the number of a man now if you take the antichrist's name when he becomes king it'll be william the fifth william v in roman numerals now you can rearrange these uh, no, um, uh, roman numerals um and break them apart and you can um, realign them again and it says you can make up i am and then vi roman numerals for six three times so i am 666 just like that revelation 16 revelation 16 and i saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet for they are the spirits of devils working miracles which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of that great day of god almighty now, revelation 16 confirms that there was an evil trinity of leaders first you have the dragon satan incarnated which is like the father of the, tr the trinity which is barack obama uh satan for like lightning from the heights then you had the beast the antichrist the clone of jesus christ the false messiah king william v the el masi dajjal of the islam and then you have the third part of the trinity the beast from the earth which is the false prophet and last pope francis and they then this is just after the second passing of the throne and after the two witnesses have finished it says that they will then go out to the kings of the earth to gather them to battle of that great day of God Almighty. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked, and they see his shame. And he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. And the armies and the kings of the earth and the trinity the evil trinity will gather in that place called in the hebrew tongue armageddon 
which is the valley of Megiddo, the Jezreel Valley, um, just in sort of northern Israel, uh, supposed to be, be one of the flattest, one of the biggest, flattest areas in the whole world. And he'll gather them there for the final battle between man and God, basically, because these will try and stop the second coming, the Jesus Christ actually stepping on the earth. Revelation 19. Revelation 19. But the judgment shall sit, and they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it unto the end. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. These have one mind, and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them, for he is Lord of lords and King of kings, and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And I saw heaven opened, and behold a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and green. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron." and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, Come and gather yourselves together under the supper of the great God that ye may eat the flesh of kings, and the flesh of captains, and the flesh of mighty men, and the flesh of horses, and of them that sit on them, and the flesh of all men, both free and bond, both small and great. And I saw the beast, and the kings of the earth, and their armies, gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse, and against his army. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. And the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. And so, wow. So the, the beast and the ten kings, his ten horns, all gather together at Armageddon with all their armies. And then the and the false prophet with him. And the heavens are opened. And then Jesus Christ is there, seated on his white horse with a vesture dipped in blood and having a two-edged sword. And the, the angel stands in the sun. And the, the fowls gather together to eat the flesh. And then the false prophet and the beast are both taken and cast alive into the lake of fire. And Jesus just swipes his two-edged sword and kills off all the armies. Like spiritually kills them, I believe. And then the fowls will eat the flesh of those soldiers. And then Satan, Barack Obama, will be shackled 
He'll be bound into the bottomless pit for 1,000 years. And then Jesus Christ will touch down and rule this world for 1,000 years. And all us uh, will come with him, return with him. So thank you for watching this presentation on the false prophet. I hope you've had a great revelations from it. Please um, share this with all your friends, family, social media. And if you have any questions, please message me on Facebook or WhatsApp. And um, please ask God for forgiveness of your sins. The time is short. If you ask God for forgiveness of your sins, you will be forgiven. And that is the only way to be saved. For the shed blood of Jesus Christ has pay paid the price, but it's up to us to ask for the gift. So I've been past the prophet Justin Roberts from End of the Age Bible Prophecy. God bless you all. Amen.